Aren't you guys ready to learn something? No? Lakeem, you have something to say, right? You what? Welcome to Green Face Incorporated News with Johnny Carson, Jimmy Bacchel, and Lakeem McQuack. Haven't known Germany is living a happily life known as the Holy Roman Empire. But not for long! Actually, it's for quite a while. Not for long! You can stop now. Not for long! Ah! You stop. So, uh, actually, it's quite for a while, so uh, when, uh, when the Holy Roman Empire is formed during the medieval period, well, uh, as Voltaire said, Voltaire, that sounds more like a French name to me, about the 17th century about the Holy Roman Empire. It was nor holy, nor Roman, nor an empire. So after Napoleon marches through the center of Europe to get to Russia, because uh, Moscow was under siege, so through, he marched through all of Moscow, through all of Europe to get to Moscow, or St. Petersburg, I think it was Moscow, they, in 1814, the Austrian Congress decide what to do. In, uh, from 1814 to 1815, there's this big Congress held in, uh, I have no clue, somewhere in Central Europe. And what they decide to do is they decide to, uh, instead of making Central Europe one big country, they decide to make it into the German states, so it was called the German states, consider, uh, German Federation it was then called. Instead, we have the GC of S. <laughs> Right. Fun fact, Prussia was annexated during the Second World War by Germany. So Prussia is uh, where Poland and the state of Kaliningrad, so somewhere like, Ger uh, so a part of Germany, so Berlin, Poland, a bit of Lithuania, Belarus, uh, Czech, Austria, Slovakia, yeah, it's probably like So the rest of, of this video to Deutsch werden, okay? Und ich bin 15% Deutsch, okay? Okay, so die Reste ist auf Deutsch, okay? So, wann ich sag, dass Bismarck war... Was ist das? Was ist, was ist zu laut? Punk! The English version of me is better! Oh, hey guys. So, in Germany during the 1800s or the mid 1800s, there grew this concept of a smaller Germany and a bigger Germany. So, the greater Germany. So, the small, uh, so the people that wanted smaller Germany meant that they wanted to not include the Kingdom of Austria, which wasn't the Austrian Empire, but uh, it's a lot of complicated stuff, but they just didn't want to include a part of Austria, while the greater while um, uh, the people that wanted Greater Germany said that they wanted to include the Kingdom of Austria. So basically, then in 1848, in Germany, so all around uh, that time, the German states and in Paris, they started bringing these revolutions, uh, just revolutionizing and having revolts to um, just to make a smaller Germany. Wait, it was a greater. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confused already. I think it was a smaller Germany. Yeah, it was a smaller one, and um, it was going well. Yeah, it was going pretty well until um, yeah, it just stopped. It was like for some reason it just. The next step, because after the proof of the first attempt, the second attempt, however, was successful because a Prussian king Otto von Bismarck. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Otto von Bismarck! I, I know that German people don't sound like that, I, I live in Austria. So the first act to unite Germany was the Danish war where the Prussians um, allied with the Germans to fight against the Danish for reasons... Yeah, we never really know. Probably over... I don't know, probably over a shoe. Someone lost a shoe and they just like, oh, you lost a shoe, let's go to war! The second step was the 
Austro-Prussian Empire, which settled because this is for a reason, because that Danish war was just for no reason. That was probably over some shoe or something. Someone didn't tie their shoelaces and then they fell, they broke a tooth, and then they declared the war on the pit person that made the pavement. Come on, seriously. So uh, it was actually for a reason to uh, settle either smaller Germany or greater Germany. Uh, yeah. It, it, some politics stuff, I, I don't really like, yeah, smaller Germany, I'm gonna repeat it again, because I don't want you to skip it back, because then you're gonna get messed up everything. So, smaller Germany is to not include the Kingdom of Austria, and greater Germany is to include the Kingdom of Austria. So, this settled it, and the Prussians actually won the war. So, the third and final step, which happened in 1870, from 1870 to 1871, was the Franco-Austrian Empire to settle the Northern Confederate States and the uh, Confederation States. And, uh, with the French defeat, because the French got actually defeated in the... Uh, Germany was united. So in fact, on uh, in January 1871, Germany, the Imperial Germany, was proclaimed on uh, January 1871 in the Palais du Versailles or the Versailles pa Palace, and uh, everyone agreed with it, and it was fine. It was fine until in 1914, when uh, yeah, Germany declared war and. Second World War began. Yeah, so, uh, Germany United! So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, these are, uh, yeah, so if you haven't seen the last video on the unification of Italy, you can uh, click and uh, it won't be in the description below, just go on my videos, it's there. I uh, really have nothing else to say except that if um, the sources, of course, are in the description below. And if you want me to review or report on some historical information, so let's say you want me to report on, I don't know, the, uh, the burning of Smyrna. Smyrna was a Greek city and, or whatever, like, let's say you know some historical information, just comment in the, um, just comment in the comment section below or send me an email. My email is also in the description below. Just send it to me and say, hey, make a video on that. I will Google it and I will make a video on it. I got really nothing else to say. The sources are in the description below. Uh, the next video is probably... Um, it's a surprise of what I'm doing it about. Okay, so uh, have a nice day. And again, this message is official. You what?